in a world where you're the last shooter. What I mean shooter, nobody shoots in this game. They just put it up on anybody. And yeah, I'm talking about you. But I'ma help you out. You just gotta trust me on this one. Okay, here we go. Focus, speed. I am speed. What's good with y'all boy? It's your boy back with another banger video. I thought today I should make a video on the best shooting tips in NBA 2K23 and I'm including the best jump shots. But I want y'all to look at something real quick. I'm gonna show y'all. I feel like nobody in this game shoot over 50%. Like, I feel like I'm the only person to shoot like decently in this game. Like, I think I shoot like 60 something. Yeah, 60.2%. Like, that's not bad for this year. Like, everybody else. I be looking at people's cars, they be shooting like 40%, 30%, like hold on, let me show y'all real quick. Like it's bad this year, you don't make whites at all, even with the update, maybe you see, might see one every like 5 games or 10, like like I'm sorry for exposing some of y'all, but this is bad, like 45, the last one was 32, this one's 45, like oh lord, 37, Jesus, 32. It's crazy. I can keep going and going and going, but I'm just going to stop because this is getting worse and worse the more I go down and down. But anyways, cue the intro. Alright, first things first, the jump shots. I'm going to give y'all a total of three jump shots. Two for my 6-1 and one for my 6-8. If you've been around lately, you would have both of my 6-1 jump shots. But nobody really got my 6-8 jump shot and I'm going to give it to y'all this video. Let me tell y'all something. These jump shots right here, I'm not playing like. These jump shots, I do not miss with. For the first jump shot, some of y'all might not be able to use it because it does have Steph Curry base. But the second jump shot, y'all should be able to use. This jump shot consists of Steph Curry as the base, release one Chris Paul, and release two Oscar Robertson. I feel like each jump shot should have Oscar Robertson in it, just because how fast it is. And it like speeds up your jump shot so much this year. For the second jump shot, it's like the first one, but just with a different base. This base is probably like the fastest base in NBA 2K23. Like you can peak so good with this base, and yeah, the base is just like a slow pull up. But it's, the base is Kevin Porter, release one Trey Young, release two Oscar Robinson, same blend at max speed, nineteen eighty one percent. Y'all can pause anywhere between the videos, so y'all can copy the jump shot down. But we are gonna get to the six eight jump shot. All right, for the infamous demigod build that apparently everybody has in NBA two K twenty three. This is the jump shot I use when I do play on it. I can't even pronounce the name of the guy for the base. Ignis Brazinga. I don't even I don't even know. But release one Rudy Gay, Oscar Robinson, but it's 0% for Rudy Gay and 100 percent Oscar Robinson. Cause Oscar Robinson is probably like the top release in this game. The next tip I got for y'all is the badges. What badges you do need and what badges you don't need. Like the tier list, like what badges you need to put first on your list if you get a badge point. All right, your first badge, like at the top of the list, needs to be Green Machine. The green one of this year is so weird compared to other years. So that Green Machine, that, that badge is gonna help you make that shot go all the different timings in this game. The next badge on the list is Limitless Range. Y'all should know that this is self-explanatory. If you wanna shoot from farther, the more you got the badge tier up, the further you're gonna be able to shoot with or without takeover. The third and the final like main badge that you really need is Asia 3s for your fades because everybody wants to shoot fades this year. And it helps you when you're dribbling, you just shoot the ball out of nowhere. The badge will still pop up and give you that boost. For the rest of the badges, I'm gonna just like, you know, just briefly go through them. As a secondary badge, you can run tireless shooter. I wouldn't run this nothing above go 
gold maybe silver volume shooter on bronze you can bring that up if you want to blinders on gold blinders it should have been a core badge but like eh. you can make do without it though but it's still a great badge to use i put on dead eye just because i have the extra badges fun fact about clutch shooter it works in 3v3 games and 2v2 games whichever team gets above 15 points the badge activates and it gives you a large boost so it doesn't only work in rec one more thing guard up does not work on current gen it works a little bit on next gen but current gen do not use this badge okay this tip right here is mainly for you next gen players not really for your current gen players because there's like a delay on current gen but your jumps your jump shot time and release needs to be on late or very late for next gen because the delay with next gen is like no delay when you shoot so you need that type of like when you release the ball at your hand it will be like you're releasing the ball at your hand what i mean by that it will be like you're not just tapping square to shoot the ball like you actually have to time your shot so if you feel like you're shooting mad earlies and lates that's probably the reason why i do use late on current gen 2 but you could use early though for the last tip it's a very simple tip that's been going on for way too long make sure i'm telling you don't say i ain't tell y'all Make sure you buy your boost, especially for next gen. Make sure you sub, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. Have a beautiful time.